Jamaica Society for the Blinds Tech Tips. Welcome back to Tech Tips. This week, we will take a look at a piece of software that when used can protect your privacy while browsing online. What are we talking about? VPN clients. As usual, each week we have a guest in-house and this week's guest is Rayon Campbell. Now what does VPN mean and what do you use a VPN client for? VPN is virtual private network. All VPN clients will say that the VPN was invented or designed to protect your private data on your own network. It does this, of course, by rerouting your network traffic through a proxy address, a different network address. This could be a different address in your own country or in another country. This is ideal for if you're using public, open, unprotected networks such as Wi-Fi in your favorite cafe or coffee shop or public library. As of course, if the information is publicly available, it can be accessed by people who would wish to use it or steal it. However, VPNs have become increasingly popular for people who do not wish to be geo-blocked from access to websites and streaming content that is only available in certain countries. Also, with the increasing pressure on companies to either block or locate and prosecute people who use P2P clients such as torrenting websites, torrenting clients, and other P2P file sharing software, VPN have become pivotal to people who wish to continue using these tools. Now, I will say first and foremost that using these tools are indeed illegal. That must be made um, clear. However, people will find ways around doing pretty much anything. And VPN clients made to protect your data can also, if used properly and if you get the right one, protect any trackers, whether it is Google or it is your local internet provider from tracking your activity on the net. The best VPN clients also tell you that they will remove any log of your activity once you have closed the service down. These are usually the paid ones. Now, how to choose a good VPN client? That is a tough one. As this program is focused on accessibility, I'm going to say first and foremost that you've got to go through a lot in order to get to the right ones. And maybe someday I will, if I have the time, go through and test out a few B VPN clients and give you a list of the most accessible ones. However, I am going to just go through free versus paid um, for this one. Now let's take a look at a few free VPN clients and what they offer. VPN clients that give you free data. Well, there are a few good ones that do and the free data that you get is limited, but it still affords you pretty decent protection. One of the best ones I know of, and it is a shame because it is not accessible at all, is the Windscribe VPN. Windscribe VPN offers total blockage for free, but you get to use up to 15 gigabytes per month if, of course, you share or make a post on social network about Windscribe. You start off with 10 gigabytes, but of course you have ways, like I said, to get it up to 15. This is the best one because as I said, it offers you total blockage, even if the number of locations you can choose are restricted. Tunnel Bear is another good one. This one is more accessible. However, 
it offers you no more than 500 megabytes per month of accessible browsing. And you can choose the country from which you wish to browse. This, of course, means that you may not be able to stream content or that 500 megabytes will run out really quickly. However, if you wish to browse websites in another country that you may be geo-blocked from seeing the content in, that is a possibility with Tunnel Bear. BetterNet VPN. Now, this is a tricky one. It says unlimited or at least it gives very sparse detail on what your limit is per month however two things i find with this one one the connections if you offer if you ask for free are often quite slow and two i suspect that even if you do get a pretty decent connection they have a fair use policy in place this, of course, means that you can get only a certain amount of data speed and data browsing per month before they start to choke off the amount of bandwidth you can have. However, it's pretty good because you can find the connect button and press it and get connected. You don't get to choose where you connect to, but it still does just enough to block advertising trackers and to unlock geo-blocked websites. I wouldn't encourage this one for streaming again either because of the speed. How about the paid ones? Paid VPN sites and clients often, for obvious reasons, offer you a much better service. Winscribe, for instance, offers you very very good free connection the paid connections means of course that you can not only choose a whole heap of countries from which to broadcast you can effectively get limitless data browsing and streaming for a fairly decent monthly price however I wouldn't encourage this because of its lack of accessibility. And if you are going to pay for a VPN, then you might as well be able to use it without too much fuss. Which leads me to my next two VPNs. ExpressVPN offers you a fairly accessible paid service with very, very good internet speeds. This one, I think, is worth your money if you want to pay out for um, the different plans they have. They offer you a seven day trial on the mobile app if you wish to try it out, but they also have a PC client for you to use. NordVPN is also fairly accessible and also provides very good speeds. I do believe on iOS it is more or less totally accessible and on the Android platform as well. The PC client, I haven't had a chance to test extensively. However, it is rated among the best VP clients paid or free because of its speed and because of the other services it offers. For instance, it will block trackers from noticing whether you are using P2P clients. It will remove your logs once you have finished your internet activity. When using a VPN, here are a few things that one should think about. When using VPN, there are three things you need to think about. One, what are you using it for? For instance, if it is just to protect your data while you're doing online banking in public, etc., then a free one can do you all right. Windscribe, in particular, is pretty good. Or Tunnel Bear, because they both offer you total blockage if you use the PC client. If you want to stream, however, which is the second thing you must consider, then your options become a bit more limited, but a bit more straightforward. Get a paid client, full stop. If you wish to use P2P clients, again, even in public or private, 
get a paid service. A free service is not advisable, not only because the download speeds will be a lot slower than you want, but because not all the free services offer you total blockage and not all of them can or will delete your logs when you're finished using them. There are VPN clients for all the platforms from iOS to Android and even for your PC. So go ahead, download them, try them, then leave us a comment on which one you think is the best one. And thanks again to DJ Ray for passing through the Tech Tips. Jamaica Society for the Blind's Tech Tips, empowering the blind and visually impaired through technology. Want more of these weekly Tech Tips? Then subscribe to this channel. Leave your comments, like and share. This has been a production of the JSB Library.